Hello there YouTube, how we doing? Right, so this video, I think it's about time that um, many people that don't know how to use hydraulics on Midnight Club, which should do by now, um, this is this is going to be like a little tutorial video I guess, right? It's not going to be long, but I'm going to try and give you the, uh, the gist of it. So basically, obviously, you're going to be in need to be in manual, so you can go up and down your gears whenever you feel like it. Uh, normally, a good setup, a good setup on your tyres, uh, on your dimensions, is good to give you more of a boost or not. Wide body, you don't need a wide body. You can have a wide body. Sometimes it depends uh, how fast it goes, having a wide body or not. Sometimes it actually matters. But not to worry. Let's let me try and give you. This is what I do, right? So I press R1. So R1 is to go up and down my gears. And uh, R1 is to go up, sorry, and L1 is to go down. And I use R2 and L2 as my forward and backwards. Um, I use square as my nitrous, X is my handbrake, triangle headlights, circle as my weight transfer. Um, that's pretty much all you need to know. So, what you're going to do, you're going to press R1. So you're going to second gear. Hang on, let me get so I can, uh, so you can see my... Right, so I'll go in second gear as you can see, second gear, right, then, during a race, I would normally hold down the acceleration straight away and push the right analog stick forward, but because I'm not in a race, what I'll do now is I would push the right analog stick forward and I'd keep it forward, like, you always keep that, I don't know if you can see, the right analog stick, always keep it forward, yeah, just keep that forward, and then, second gear make sure you still in second gear and then as soon as you press down on the accelerator you just tap the down button on the d-pad as quickly as you can and you get that and then you go into third gear and then fourth and then you, you keep the right analog stick held down like just never let never let it off uh, obviously if you're in automatic it's different I don't know how to tell you how to do it in automatic but if you're in automatic and you're switching to manual just to use hydros, then it's going to take you a while to get used to the whole manual thing. Uh, maybe not a while, but it'll be a nuisance for you, like, racing, because you, you'll get confused and shit. So, I'm going to go over it once more. And this time I'll tell you... I don't know, I might tell you the same thing. So, second gear. Right analog stick forward. Acceleration and down on the D-pad at the same time. Mainly the acceleration first, then down on the D-pad. But if you're in a race, as soon as it comes up with the countdown, 3, 2, 1. As soon as you see that number 3, you go into second gear, right analog stick forward, hold down the acceleration. As soon as it says go, you tap the down button really quickly. And that's how I use hydraulics. Obviously, other people will have different... Um, controller setups to me so it will be more like harder or easier maybe than what I have but some people I know use their right analog stick to go forward so basically if you do that if you have the right analog stick to move forward then you don't all you have to do is second gear right analog forward and tap the down button like that's what that's why it's doing for me but that's because I'm not holding down the accelerator that's only the right analog stick going down Forward, so yeah, right analog stick going forward. So that's pretty much how you do it. There's no other way of doing it I can think of. Um, I mean, you know, you could always just do that and then hydro, but I think that's not great anyway. You can do it in an Audi R8, a much Largo, and a Gallardo. You can, in fact, actually, you can do it in pretty much any car. Some cars aren't as good as others, obviously. And, uh, you, Depending on your dimensions, you get a different boost of different dimensions. They're not all the same. Same with your two-wheeling. Dimensions matter a lot. Top speed, dimensions matter a lot. Dimensions matter a lot in this game. That's what makes this game really special. Because there's, there isn't really any other games, not many, where the dimensions matter a lot. Right? Uh, if you want to know, if you want me to make another video of maybe how to two wheel properly, um, how uh, maybe I might do double clutching. I don't think I need to though. But if uh, if you want me to make a video on um, two wheeling or anything like that, 
then let me know if you've got any more questions on how to hydro properly and you want to talk to me on the mic then just add me on BNLZ underscore R-A-G-E dash remember there's a dash at the end because the other BNLZ rage that was my old account I think so um yeah that's the video I uh, hope you learned something thanks for watching